a nightmare for Franklin police as a traffic stop ends with two of their officers being dragged down I-65. Police say the suspect actually ran mm. over the legs oh, of one of those officers. Hard to watch. Fox 17 News Maggie Lemire live at Franklin Police Headquarters tonight with video of the seconds leading up to this life-threatening situation. Maggie, how are those officers? Well, they are in recovery mode right now, but Scott, Stacy, it happened like you saw in the video in one of the most unsafe areas, the side of an interstate. While the officers were both injured, the department here tells me it could have been a whole lot worse. Intense dash cam video shows Franklin police officers Dustin Stevens and Matt Lamar being dragged by a car Sunday at risk of being killed by cars moving at interstate speed. It started after an officer pulled over 26 year old Roy Nicholson for a traffic violation. Police say the officer smelled marijuana and saw a gun in the car. You can see here Nicholson resisting officer Stevens and beelining it to the vehicle. The struggle left both officers hurt and Stevens at one point underneath the car. It could have run over his chest, his head, all these different vital organs, right? And so the fact that it ran over his legs and that they weren't broken is really miraculous. Lieutenant Charlie Warner with Franklin Police says had they been pushed any closer to the road, the outcome could have been much worse. And we had officers hurt, but they could have been killed. And so that really drives home the importance to all of us as drivers why we should always move over. Drivers who saw what happened stepped in and followed Nicholson, leading police to him. Nicholson since been released on a $40,000 bond in just three hours on Fox 17's Facebook page, 470 comments and 400 shares of this violent encounter. Many concerned with the fact this man is now out, but Franklin PD expects more charges to come. And right now, the suspect, the suspect is charged with two counts of aggravated assault and evading a felony evading. Now, he is due in court coming up in the month of June, specifically on June 9th.